Hi. Uh, I just wanted to show you these uh, dividers. Um, uh, this is a simple divider. So uh, I've just used a little Hall effect sensor in the middle and two magnets either side of it. And as you open the arms, the, the two magnets rotate around the sensor uh, and give a feedback. So if, I don't know if we can, hopefully we can see that on the screen. Uh, it gives you an angle and it gives you a length. So the length is between the two points. So as I open and close, um, it, sh it should alter the length and also the angle. It should show you what angle these are, are at. Um, it's just a simple tool uh, just for measuring something. It's, it's a rough tool because, uh, like I said, I've just printed it out and glued the sensor magnets in place. Um, if you want something more accurate, then obviously we'd have to use uh, a more accurate uh, Hall effect sensor. So basically you can measure something. So, so if I want to measure the top of this, I can just put the two dividers across and then we can see it's about 79.8 well I guess that's 80 millimeters and then if we measure across the top of there uh, along the side of there we can uh, see that we've got 73 so I think yeah, I think I actually made it 72 mil that but uh, so and you can measure the screen if I wanted so I can go inside and, and measure that 57 and then go this way and then we go like 34 so you can see what I'm basically using them for and if I put uh, where this uh, cross is on, the, on, my, on my little board, if I put that down on the, well, let's put it there. So if I put it on, on that cross, it's in shot still, isn't it? Yeah, so, so you can see I've got like 90 degrees there, so I think. So, um, and I just thought I'd show, show how, how simple it is. Um, when putting it, while I'm doing the video, I thought I'd better show you how I managed to find out the poles of the uh, magnets. Because uh, it's important that when we put it together, that, that all the magnets' poles are in the same, the right direction. Uh, they've got a point correctly all the way. Um, what I did to do that, I used a little app on my phone. Uh, since I've got my phone, I've got my, my tablet. <laughs> it's a little bigger, so you should be able to see it better. And I prefer these, the app with the, the 3D, um, there's my magnets, with the 3D, 3D arrow on because it, it gives you a bit more representation of, of the, the magnets. So if I've got my magnets here and then we move it over the sensor, you need to find out where your sensor is to get better results with this. And you can you can find that it's got a strength meter on there. So the closer you are to the meet the, the the sensor inside your phone, the bigger the value you're going to get here. So once you've found out where that is, then I find it best to have this laid flat, uh, supported flat somehow, and then just have your magnet underneath the sensor, and and and. Uh, detect which direction it's going while you're underneath the, the actual sensor. So I, I basically just support it on the, uh, the little plotter here, which is about six inches above the table. And then I put the uh, magnet underneath, and then I can see exactly, uh, if we get it around the sensor, you can see it's pointing straight up. So I know the north is the top. Um, and then obviously if I lay it down now, then it's going to, point exactly in the right directions around I've got that there's a magnet <laughs> around around the um, in the direction I've got the the, uh, the magnets I've got this over something magnetic because it keeps <laughs> keeps wanting to point in that direction anyways uh, so so I just thought I'd show you that because uh, it's, it's important to get the uh, the magnets in the right direction uh, well, I hope you like this, uh, uh, it's just a simple idea, but I want to go on from this and actually make a, a, a 2D version and a 3D version, so hopefully I'll get on to those next. <laughs>